Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss this example. So here we have C, C means set of complex numbers and we have to prove that it is a complete matrix space with this matrix D of Z1, Z2 is equal to mod Z1 minus Z2. We have to prove it is a complete matrix space. First of all tell me when we say the matrix space is complete. If every Cauchy sequence is convergent then we say the matrix space is complete. That means obviously we have to take any arbitrary Cauchy sequence and we have to prove that it is convergent. So let us take one Cauchy sequence. Let Zn be a Cauchy sequence in C. Okay, so it is a Cauchy sequence in C that means each term will be a complex number. So you know that any complex number can be expressed as A plus IV real part plus I into imaginary part. So that's why uh, we can write where Zn is equal to An plus IBN for all n. Getting? So that means uh, this is a sequence of complex number. So complex number always we write real part plus I into imaginary part. So each Zn can be expressed in this way. A and B and are real numbers. Getting? These are real numbers but we call it as a real part and we call it as a imaginary part. So Cauchy sequence we have, we have to prove that it is convergent. To prove that Zn is convergent in C with that matrix D, right? So we are familiar with the definition of Cauchy sequence, convergent sequence. Uh, we use epsilon definition. So let us start with one epsilon. Let us take one epsilon. Let epsilon greater than 0 be given. Now what will I do? I will use the given information. What is the given information? It is Cauchy. We have Zn is Cauchy. It is Cauchy in CD. So it is a Cauchy sequence. So I can use the definition of Cauchy sequence. Definition of Cauchy sequence says for given epsilon greater than 0, there exist capital N belongs to set of natural numbers such that D of Xn Xm less than epsilon for all Nm greater than or equal to capital N. Same definition I am going to write just for given epsilon we say no. So epsilon we have already taken. So I will mention for above epsilon. Therefore, for above epsilon. Epsilon already we have. So by Cauchy sequence, definition of Cauchy sequence for this epsilon there exist capital N such that D of Zn Zm less than epsilon for all n m greater than or equal to capital N. So by definition of Cauchy sequence, I got this one. D matrix is defined in that way. So let us use that definition here. So we'll have mod Zn minus Zm less than epsilon. Obviously, I should carry this condition here. Let us continue here. Okay. Mm. Now what will I do? Uh, I will put the actual value of Zn, n plus ibn. Similarly, Zm will be m plus ibm. So therefore, a n plus ibn minus a m minus ibm less than epsilon. I have written minus there, but see minus sign is outside. When you solve the bracket sign will get changed. So we will get this one. So let us see how to subtract real part minus real part imaginary part minus imaginary part. Let us do real part n, second real part m. So let us subtract plus these are two imaginary parts. I am taking i common bn minus bm less than epsilon. Okay, I should carry this condition everywhere. So let me simply mention copy paste. Okay, so you are familiar with that definition of mod square root of square of real part plus square of imaginary part. So square root of its square n minus m square plus its square bn minus bm square less than epsilon. Okay, with this condition, right? To remove square root, I will take square of both sides. Let us do n minus m square plus bn minus bm square less than by taking square, you will get this one. See, we are adding two squares and both of them sum is less than epsilon square. That means each of them is less than epsilon square. Therefore, 
n minus m square less than epsilon square and bn minus bm square less than epsilon square with the condition. Okay, I will take square root of both sides, positive square root. So, uh, I should write mod, mod n minus m less than epsilon and mod bn minus bm less than epsilon for all n m greater than or equal to capital N. But see, this is definition of Cauchy sequence, okay, in R, R, see, this is regular mod and basically a n and b n both are real numbers, right, both are real numbers. So, here n is a sequence of real numbers, similarly b n is also sequence of real numbers and which are satisfying this condition. So, that is why we can declare therefore a n and b n are Cauchy sequence in R du. Du means what? Usual distance. Usual distance means this mod. Okay. So, same definition we have. So, that is why we can declare n, b, n both are Cauchy sequence. So, we started with what? We started with z n having real part n, imaginary part b n, but we found out if z n is Cauchy, real part is Cauchy, the corresponding sequence Cauchy and uh, sequence in imaginary part that is also Cauchy, right? But both are Cauchy in R. And in our previous video, we have already proved every Cauchy sequence is convergent in R. That means R is complete. But let me clearly mention, but R D U is a complete matrix space. Okay, we have already proved in previous video. Complete means what? Every Cauchy sequence is convergent. So these are Cauchy. So therefore, these are convergent sequence in R. Okay, so let me mention, just make a screenshot of it. Then I will go further. So, therefore, therefore, A n and B n are convergent sequences in R d u. Okay, so we found out these are Cauchy sequences, but R is complete matrix space. That means every Cauchy sequence is convergent. So, that is why these are convergent sequences. These are convergent that means definitely they will converge to some points. So, let us call say n converges to a and second sequence also will converge somewhere. So, let us call it as b. n converges to a, b n converges to b. So, we have two real numbers now a and b. With the help of them, I will form a new complex number. Let z naught okay z naught is a plus i v real part is a imaginary part is b what is our target we started with one Cauchy sequence z n and our final target is to prove z n is convergent so now i will prove now let me clearly mention now we will prove we will prove that z n converges to this z naught in c d okay so, this is our final target, okay. So, we got a z0 now and I will prove zn converges to z0, okay. So, let us use the given information. This is the given information. So, let us use it. Uh, see, we have, we have n converges to a and bn converges to b. So, I am going to use the definition of convergent sequence. For given epsilon uh, greater than 0, there exists n belongs to set of natural number epsilon we have already taken at the beginning of this theorem. So, let us use the same epsilon. Therefore, for above epsilon greater than 0, there exists a natural number. But see, we have two sequences. Obviously, we will get two natural numbers. Let us call them as n1 and n2. There exists n1, n2 belongs to set of natural number such that mod okay so these are convergent sequence in what r r so with usual distance so i should write mod n minus a less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to n1 and mod b n minus b less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to n2 right so let us call it as 1 and this is 2 epsilon means very small positive real number i am going to do a small adjustment okay what will I do? Instead of epsilon, I will write epsilon by root 2. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Getting? Epsilon means a small positive real number. 
and epsilon by root 2 having a same meaning it also represents a very small positive real number right uh, but see the problem is that first inequality is true for n1 all natural numbers greater than or equal to n1 second inequality is true for all natural numbers greater than or equal to n2 so what will i do i will take the maximum of n1 and n2 then 1 and 2 will be true simultaneously for that n0 okay let me do that just make a screenshot of it first so you can see i have taken that n0 and 1 and 2 will be true for that n0 okay n0 is a maximum of n1 and n2 so let us focus on our final target uh, we have to prove zn converges to z0 uh, in cd okay so i should consider now let us consider <coughs> d of uh, zn comma z0 we have to prove it is less than epsilon then we can say zn converges to z0 right let us start to work d having definition this one so mod zn minus z0 i will put their actual values zn means what a n plus i b n minus z0 means what z0 yes a plus i b a minus i b since a minus sign is outside so when you solve the bracket sign will get changed so let us subtract real part real part is n and a plus imaginary part what will i do i will take i common we'll have b n minus b we are familiar with definition of mod in a complex numbers right square root of square of real part plus square of imaginary part so n minus a square plus b n minus b square okay but see n minus a less than epsilon by root 2 so we can write this is less than epsilon by root 2 square agree plus b n minus b that is also less than epsilon by root 2 epsilon by root 2 square with this condition for all n greater than or equal to n naught since now 1 and 2 are true for this n naught <coughs> let us simplify if you take square we will have epsilon square by 2 plus epsilon square by 2 denominator is same if you add numerators 2 epsilon square by 2 2 to cancel so we will have square root of epsilon square square and square root will get cancelled and we will have epsilon so finally we proved d of zn comma z0 strictly less than epsilon with this condition for all n greater than or equal to n0 this is definition of convergent sequence right so let me mention clearly so therefore d of zn comma z0 less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to n0 this is definition of convergent sequence so therefore we can declare that sequence zn converges to z0 in c d so the story is we started with one cauchy sequence in c d and we proved that it is convergent in c d so therefore every cauchy sequence is convergent in c d so let me mention therefore every cauchy sequence is convergent in cd so this is definition of complete matrix space therefore cd is a complete matrix space so in this way we have completed this example just make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you